I can't wait for my next battle. It's gonna be awesome. Pikachu! Are we there yet? We just left. I just can't wait. But mm, if we have a long way to go, did you pack any snacks? Yes. Awesome. Let's take a break and eat. Later. You can't possibly be hungry already. Didn't you eat before we left? Yeah, but we can stop once we get to the gym. Puzzle, puzzle, puzzle. Hey, what's that? Where you mind, puzzle, 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 puzzle. Where's it coming from? Pikachu. Okay, okay. Show us. Look, it's Plusle and Minin. What is it? Puzzle, puzzle, puzzle. Puzzle, puzzle. Where? Puzzle, puzzle, puzzle. Where? Puzzle, 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 puzzle. I don't see any. Oh, wait. What is it? I think it's a a mushroom. <laughs> it's so small. I think it's the smallest thing I've ever seen. I think it's the smallest thing ever. It can't be the smallest thing ever. Why not? I mean, it's got to be made up of pieces of something smaller, doesn't it? This looks like one tiny mushroom. I don't see any pieces. Just because we don't see something doesn't mean it isn't there. Or something like that. Let's ask Ciara. I bet she'll know about this. Hey there. What's up? Look what Plusle and Minin found. Wow. That's one tiny mushroom. <laughs> Is that the smallest thing you've ever seen? Or are there smaller things we can't see? Well, well that's very small. But there's something smaller than that mushroom. An atom. Atoms are the building blocks of everything you see. Trees, rocks, water, even you, all start with atoms. So everything is just a combination of atoms. Well, atoms form elements, materials like oxygen, silver, iron, or carbon. Everything is made up of elements or combinations of elements, and elements are made up of only one kind of atom. Hmm. I don't see any atoms. They are way, way too small to be seen. They're much smaller than that mushroom. How small? Imagine this: if you had fifty million atoms lined up together, they would reach only about a centimeter. Fifty million? Now I know why we can't see them. Then how do we know they're there? It takes some pretty powerful equipment, but scientists can see them. They can even see inside of them. Inside them? If everything is made of atoms. Then what's an atom made of? Let's take a look. The center of the atom is called the nucleus. The nucleus is only a tiny part of the atom, but it's the part with the greatest mass. The nucleus makes up almost all the mass of the atom. It's like the nucleus is in the center of a bubble. What are those pieces inside the nucleus? The nucleus is made up of two types of particles or pieces. Protons have a positive electric charge. Neutrons have no charge. Got it. P for positive and proton. And neutrons sound like neutral, no charge. Yeah. How many are there? The nucleus of an atom can be made up of different combinations of protons and neutrons, but you can find out the number of protons in the nucleus of one atom of a particular element by looking at the atomic number. So if they have different numbers of protons and neutrons, do atoms come in different sizes? You'd think so. But even though atoms can have different atomic numbers, they're all still about the same size. But what are those things moving around the atom? Those are electrons. They have a negative charge. They move around the atom so fast that they create a cloud around the atom. They can really go. The protons and electrons in an atom determine its charge. So let's think about it. If an atom has more protons than electrons, its charge would be positive. And if an atom has more electrons than protons, its charge would be negative. Yes, but what if an atom has the same number of protons and electrons? Hmm. Neither. Right. They cancel each other out, and that's called a neutral atom. So I see. Everything starts with atoms, even this little tiny mushroom. I want to take a closer look. How about you? Let's investigate this atom. Which word means the center of the atom? Click on the answer. Right, the nucleus is the center of the atom.
Which particle in an atom has a positive charge? Click on the answer. You got it. A proton has a positive charge. Click on a proton in the diagram. Exactly. The plus sign shows the proton's positive charge. Which particle has no charge? Click on the right answer. That's it. A neutron has no charge. Click on a neutron in the diagram. Exactly. Which particle has a negative charge? Click on the right answer. That's it. An electron has a negative charge. Click on an electron in the diagram. Exactly. The minus sign shows the electron's negative charge. What's the atomic number for this atom? Click on the right answer. Awesome! The atomic number is the number of protons in the nucleus of an atom. Now, what is the charge of this atom? You got it! The number of protons with positive charges and electrons with negative charges are the same for this atom, so the charge is neutral. You sure know a lot about atoms now. Let's see if you can build one. Here's everything you need. Start by adding protons. Drag as many protons as you want your atom to have into the correct place. Click on the check button when you're finished. <laughs> now drag neutrons into place. Click on the check button when you're finished. Now drag electrons into place. Click on the check button when you're finished. Let's label your atom. Click and drag these labels into place. What's the atomic number for your atom? Enter it in the box. Now what's the charge of this atom? So protons, neutrons, and electrons are somewhere in this mushroom. Awesome! And just think. The same things it takes to make a mushroom can, well, make me. Hey, uh, how many atoms do you think are in the food you packed? Oh, hmm. I think we better look at them closer, right? If you want to eat everything now, then just say it. Okay, it. Let's see what we have. Here's a sandwich. I'm guessing this has about 300 bazillion atoms. And this apple probably has 800 chameleon atoms, and... All right, we've got it, we've got it! Atoms are everywhere! And they taste pretty good, too! Look at the word that is different than the others in this group. Try again. Think about this. The prefix pro usually means something positive. Try again. What sign usually means to add something? 
Try again. Which particle has no sign on it? Try again. Which particle has no sign on it? Try again. What does a minus sign usually mean? It's about taking things away, right? Try again. Which particle has a minus sign on it? Try again. Look at the total number of protons in the nucleus. Try again. Are there more protons? Are there more electrons? Or is there an equal amount? Try again. Try again. Try again. Now drag neutrons into place. Try again. Try again. Try again. Try again. <laughs>